Hello, I'm Alex Lowe. I'm a Principal Associate in the Employment Team at the law firm Mills and Reeve. And in the next five minutes, I'm going to share some thoughts about the four-day working week. So what is it? Well, it's shorthand for a particular way uh, of employees working fewer but more productive hours um, with no reduction in pay. So the context here is that on the 6th of June 2022, more than 70 UK companies started a national pilot, which is due to run until the end of the year, whereby their workers drop down from a conventional five-day working week to a four-day working week with no reduction in pay. The idea here is not to compress five days worth of working time into four days, but rather to achieve the same output across just four working days. So there are four implications in particular that I wanted to consider. Firstly, um, and perhaps most obviously, it's all about productivity. So you might be able to do maths uh, as I'm talking. Um, in order for this particular operated in the trial to work, each worker on average is going to have to be 25% more productive on each working day than they were before. So for many businesses, straight off the bat, it's not necessarily going to be a feasible model to, to replicate or even to trial, especially those that are already pretty efficient. For those businesses that are potentially interested, it is worth them very carefully considering how they're going to assess productivity and also how they're going to realise these gains in productivity. The second implication uh, linked to the first is price adjustments. So the, the model in this trial um, means that uh, the employees themselves realise 100% of the financial benefits of increased productivity. Now, perhaps in the longer term, to the extent this model takes off, it's more realistic to expect that the financial benefits of this improved productivity are going to be shared between employer and employee rather than exclusively reserved for employees. The other angle on uh, price adjustments is this. I think it is perfectly possible, likely even, that there'll be a ripple effect on wages um, to the extent that this model takes off and is, is replicated in some industry sectors. So both in terms of it puts pressure on the wage structure in competitor employers who still continue to operate a five-day working week, but also within any given employer where only part of the workforce drops down to a four-day working week and the remainder remains on a five-day working week. You can imagine the scope for, for discord, um, you know, the pressure for wage inflation from those employees who remain working a five-day working week, especially if they can legitimately claim to already be productive across all five of their working days. So thirdly, a few practical points. So for any business that's trialling this new model, it's quite likely to have to consider rostering, um, which it might not have had to do before, unless, of course, it's going to reduce the business's operating hours to, to match that of the reduced working pattern uh, worked by employees. Secondly, employers shouldn't forget that the same principle of 80% of the hours for 100% of the pay, if that's to be offered, to employees generally, it should also be offered to existing part-time employees as well, pro rata to their, to, to their current working pattern. Thirdly, employers need to take care to get the contractual basis of any trial right, and in particular, um, setting out clearly in writing that the default arrangement is going to be the re resumption of the previous working pattern upon the expiry of the trial. You know, unless and until some kind of new working pattern is, is, is positively agreed. And also, you know, whilst a bit of blue sky thinking, I think it is important for, for employers to think hard about what success would look like um, before, before getting into this trial. So aside from you know, perhaps drier issues of productivity, what, what is going to be the relative value of enhanced employee well-being, assuming that is you know, a, a, an outcome from the trial? What what is the effect on retention uh, and recruitment, and what's that? What's the relative worth of, of that? Does this uh, you know way of working fit in with any kind of longer term strategy or sense of purpose that the business has set for itself or or had imposed on it, perhaps? So, implication four is really a note of caution. And of course, it wouldn't be a proper talk from a lawyer without a note of caution. So, the obvious bit for here from an employer and an employee perspective is. Five working days get compressed into four. 
workforce is really stressed and you know, the arrangement isn't sustainable um, because it's not what either employees or employer uh, thought they were getting into. Also, from an employer perspective, um, it's worth thinking carefully in advance how these productivity gains are expected to be realised and then conveying that to employees and then taking active steps to implement it. So most simplistically, if a particular business doesn't get much you know, done in terms of tangible outputs on a Friday, then, then one way to give effect to this model is just to cancel Friday as a working day. Albeit, you know, proper consideration ought to be given to, well, you know, maybe the business ought to be achieving more in terms of output on a Friday. And even if not, you know, what are the sort of the less obvious benefits in terms of teamwork and culture, you know, from, from, from employees working on that day? Otherwise, you know, there's no one day of the week that's obviously less productive than, than others. Yeah, business is going to need to think carefully about, you know, is it, is it structural changes? You know, is it changes to processes? Is there a different mindset expected of employees? You know, all of that needs to be thought through, uh, you know, and articulated and communicated um, in advance. I mean, it may be that there is some, you know, genuine gain in productivity simply from the, the reality that employees, one would hope, are, are better rested uh, and have a better delineation between home and work. But I think, you yeah, know, that remains to be seen. So I think it's a case of watch this space. I mean, looking looking back at this as a whole, it's come it's come at a really interesting time um, with d- changing attitudes to work from younger generations and our working arrangements really still being in a state of flux following the the COVID pandemic. This trial is going to run um, for the rest of the calendar year, um, and we'll sure be sure to update you uh, once the data's in.